Stay hidden and quiet. Understood? Clear the road! Clear the road! You there! Kordjin! We seek four foreigners. One, a brutish woman carrying an unconscious Namazu. Have you seen them? Four foreigners, you say? Ah, yes! Very rude they were, making no apology as they barged past. They went that way, I think. Many thanks, good sir. With me, they cannot have gone far. All is well. The Seki Sei Gumi will not return this way for some time, I should think. You are of the East Aldenar Trading Company, yes? Come with me. I know a safer way. You are returned, and with guests, I see. Our meeting went about as well as expected. We brought the Namazu who thought to betray us. When he wakes up, we'll see what he knows about Yugiri and Gazetsu. Well done, you. When I saw the Seki Segumi out in force, I did begin to worry, but I see my fears were misplaced. Actually, if it weren't for Soroban, we might not have gotten away. Twas my pleasure. Yet I must ask, Soroban. Why would you deceive the Sekisegumi to help us, foreigners of whom you know naught? Why out of the kindness of my heart is what I would like to say, but my motives are not so pure. I chanced to witness your meeting with Hancock at the tavern and saw an opportunity. An opportunity? Like many, I came to Kugane as a trader to make my fortune. Kojin of the Red may serve the Empire as mercenaries, but Kojin of the Blue walk a different path. Regretfully, most here would rather not meet our gaze, much less do business. So I seek the custom of those less predisposed to dismiss us outright, namely the East Aldenard Trading Company. Quid pro quo, is it? Well, there is no denying that we owe you a debt. What say you, Hancock? Will you consider doing business with our entrepreneurial friend here? Rest assured, Master Sullivan, that in matters of trade, the company does not discriminate. We would be honored to hear your proposal. I promise you will not regret this, good sir. Ah, yes. You sought passage across the Ruby Sea, did you not? I have a ship you can use. You do? Well then, far be it from us to refuse. You have our deepest thanks.
and you mine.